We went on a trip and we want to know exactly how far did we go? Given our speed and the time that passed by, all we have to do is multiply. I like going on long trips in my yellow speedboat. If I travel at 23 knots, how far can I go in a day and a night? I'll give you a hint. If you're stuck, you can use the formula. The distance I travel equals the length of time I spend traveling, multiplied by my speed. Let's see if we can work out how far Yellow goes in his boat. His speed is 23 knots, which is 23 nautical miles per hour. He travels for one day and one night, which is 24 hours. Now, how do we figure out the total distance he covers in 24 hours? If Yellow travels at 23 nautical miles an hour, in one hour he covers a distance of 23 nautical miles. But then he travels another hour. So we have to add another 23 nautical miles. Then another hour and another 23 nautical miles. We have to repeat this process 24 times because that's the number of hours he spends travelling by boat. We end up with 24 groups of 23. We could use repeated addition to add them up, but a quicker way is to solve the equivalent multiplication problem. 24 times 23. Let's do it! Draw a box. Divide it into two columns because the first number, 24, has two digits. Divide it into two rows because the second number, 23, also has two digits. You end up with a box divided into four smaller boxes. Now draw a diagonal through each of the smaller boxes. Write 24 along the top of the box and 23 down the right hand side of the box. Next multiply and fill in the blanks. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Next, add up the numbers along the diagonals. Two. Eight plus one plus six is fifteen. Don't forget to carry the one across to the next diagonal. One plus four is five. Zero. Now read off the answer, crossing off the first zero. Five, five, two. Twenty-four times 23 equals 552. So if yellow travels at 23 knots for a day and a night, he covers a total distance of 552 nautical miles, or approximately 1,022 kilometres. That's almost the distance between Port of Melbourne and Port Adelaide. Now that's quite a sea journey. Isn't it?